Hi everyone, this is Oil Painting and Stuff, and I'm your host, Bob. This is the painting that uh, I'm doing that uh, I started back in part one. This is a image I got off of pixbay.com. It's called Mansion. If you care to go to that site on the internet, pixabay.com, it's P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. And you type in mansions, you'll find this image in their, all their pictures. Uh, this part is going to be mostly the background and the, the hills and some of this pasture down here in the background. But predominantly we're going to stick with the background of the buildings. Now as far as a palette, I'm using Windsor & Newton's Griffin Alkyd oil paints and they are titanium white, olive green, ultramarine blue, lamp black, and purple. Now sit down and relax and watch me do a little bit of painting. The brush I'm using is a dagger brush and I'm just doing some highlight, tree highlights on the uh, horizon. Probably should mix some blue into this because it's so far in the, the background that uh, we'll have some atmospheric perspective involved and so there shall be some blue. Now you remember I uh, put down a base color of or a mixture of ultramarine, olive green, and black as my background color. Now I'm just more or less following the topography of the 
the land. I don't want to uh, give a flat appearance. And I just move on down and put the appearance of some background in here. Now, um, the darker color I'm laying down and then I'll come back and put some lighter colors over that. But I just want to give the illusion of a slope in the topography of the, the background hill. But I don't want to just add kind of lines or streaks of color. I want to give their appearance of uh, we're seeing through stuff. When went and got a little bit of purple. There's some really small trees on that horizon. Now what I'm putting in here has got no shape whatsoever because there isn't any. We can't see any details in this background. It's just the illusion of we're seeing into the shady areas of the trees. And after I put this in, I'll come back in with a lighter shade of gray and purple. Because I think this color scheme in the background is we're going to experience a color change because we're going into early spring and you will see the buds of the maples and the deciduous trees coming just starting to bud out and we'll see those blues and purples and in some cases some early flowers uh, there is two cherry trees here in the foreground. We'll be putting in those much later into the painting. But we don't want to uh, get too much detail in here. We just want to get some shading of the dark colors. Now you notice I'm using uh, my mole stick. That's spelled M-A-H-L. Uh, the painting is dry, but uh, I like using this small stick because sometimes you forget and you do. Also, the medium I'm using for my paints is just Gamsol.
Now, uh, as I come forward, uh, we're going to be picking up some details. Or things are going to get a little bit crisper. And when I put in this white smokestack here, um, there'll be a white edge right here and it will be sharp because I am dealing with a white color against a dark background and that will leave a, a hard edge or a sharp edge. Now in these trees I've got to indisperse some rockage or some very large stones. Now I want you guys to put in comments about what you see me doing wrong or you want me to explain to you what I am doing. Now, in this case here, I think I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself. I think I may want to put in these rock cliffs. nothing really going on where I'm painting. I just felt I needed to put some purple in there. I'm just cleaning my brush and I want to get into this cliff face here. Which is a somewhat dark gray shade. And once I have this dark shade in, I'll start adding my lighter shades. Now you'll notice I'm painting into this roof of this building here um, and the smokestack. I just, uh, you just don't want to just stop because there's an obstacle in your way. You are dealing with all paints and you can keep going back over this. This is not like watercolor where it's just about the opposite of oils where you've got to work from light to dark where oils are the opposite way you work from dark to light. Now right now all I'm doing is adding my darks And I want to cover some of this acrylic burnt sienna I put down to begin this painting with. It's really not necessary, it's just 
means that uh, I put paint down. I've got a little bit too much purple in here. Now I put a little bit of Damsol on my brush to uh, kind of mute these edges a little bit. I'm using a very somewhat clean brush. I want to kind of blend the colors into with each other. I think some of them are standing out too much and I don't necessarily want that. Now I'm going to do something uh, I probably should uh, save for later on. But help me set the tone of the picture. Now what I've got, I'm going to use is a, a zero script liner. This is a master's touch brush. And I've, I want to put in some background trees here. These have to be uh, a really fine line. And I'm just using black. And what I want to do is get a chiseled edge on my brush. And I just move that sharp edge, that brush down. I'm trying to get the illusion of fir trees and their conical way of the growth of the limbs. When you see you've lost your chiseled edge and it's best to just go back in and pick up another edge.
Now I'm just trying to lightly tap in what appears to be something on the horizon out there. It's just something. Doesn't have to mean anything. Well, I've got this brush, I'll do a little bit more. This is more a less, this is not what I should be doing, but I just kind of felt I needed to do it. Just trying to put some illusions of some trees on that horizon. cliff face in here No, enough of this brush. I did way more than I wanted to. Clean it off this grip brush well with Gamsol, and I dip it in baby oil to uh, keep.
keep the uh, bristles soft in case I forget and go away and don't use it for a period of time. It'll keep my bristles soft. And I do occasionally forget to, to do that and they harden up and aren't good for much of anything. Now I've got to add some darker color for these cliff faces here. Hope you guys aren't falling asleep. I uh, normally uh, paint with background music on to keep me awake, and uh, but I can't do that with posting this to. YouTube because they'd come back on me about copyrighted music and I'm too cheap to get uh, good music and the uh, kind of music I listen to uh, might not appeal to you because I'm into uh, John Prine and Bob Seger, that kind of music from the late 60s. It's about time I took a break and I'll get back with you in a little bit. Well, guys, I think this is a good place to stop this episode. If you enjoyed this, and uh, um, please subscribe and give me a like. And please uh, post some comments about what you would like to see. And if you got any questions about the techniques I use, um, please write them down and I'll reply. So until we meet again, take care. Bye now.